Hi everyone, welcome to episode 1 of our MSC Seaside Caribbean Cruise series. We started off our adventure with a flight from London Heathrow to Miami. The flight from London to Miami takes about 10 hours. Despite the lengthy flight, we soon found ourselves flying over Miami, touching down around 3.30pm. Before embarking the ship, we had a two night pre-cruise stay in Miami. After eventually getting through passport control, we made our way to the pickup point to meet our hotel transfer. The transfer took about 25 minutes. We really enjoyed the little trip. It was nice taking in the sights and seeing the city at night, all lit up. We soon arrived at our hotel, the Hotel Chelsea on Washington Avenue, arriving just in time for happy hour. Hi guys, so we've arrived in Miami. Hello. Yay! It was a long flight. Uh, Security was a nightmare, it but was one hour delay, a ten hour flight, two hours just going through yeah. like, security. What's that about? Passport control even. And then But yeah. we arrived in the hotel at seven o'clock, which was happy hour. So yeah. It was happy hour, by the time I left, it was happy hour. So this is our room, we've got two double beds, which Luke's making the most of. So now we're going to freshen up and we're going to head out and explore uh, South Beach. To the city. So, Miami. see you later. Just heading out now. We're going around Miami. So, we're going to find somewhere to get a drink and then something to eat. Yeah. So, so. Yeah, we'll take you along for the ride. During our transfer earlier on, the driver recommended we visit Havana 1957 as we passed by Espanola Way. The restaurant was just a short walk from our hotel. The Havana 1957 restaurant specialises in authentic Cuban cuisine. So Gavin, what did you go for? Um, the Cubana. The Cubana. Uh, sandwich. What um, drink do you have it? Corona. The Corona. Nice. What are you having, Lukey? Uh, Cuban burger with fries and um, a pina colada. Can't wait for it. We just had some food and now we're going to go and That's find um, Miami Beach, aren't we? Yeah, have a little walk along so, the beach. So, yeah, we're just heading down there now. I think the beach is closed, so we're going to have a little walk. Yeah, we're heading down that way now anyway, so see you in a bit. Our hotel was ideally situated close to both Espanola Way and Ocean Drive. The walk from Havana 1957 only took about a quarter of an hour. Right, so we've made our way down to Ocean Drive. Yeah. So Miami Beach is just over there. Over there. It's a bit dark. And, and it's it, but... really lively down here now, isn't it? Yes, buzzing. Yes, buzzing. Love it. Buzzing. So, just exploring now. So, yeah, we're going to have a little walk. I don't know if you can hear us with the wind. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to explore and then probably going to call it an early night tonight and we've, we've been awake for hours and we're getting really tired now. So after having a little explore and going down to the beach and seeing all that lot, We've decided we're going to call it a night because we're kind of a little bit jet lagged. Uh, yeah, so we're going to head back to the hotel now, have a little snooze, wake up fresh tomorrow, and then we're going to 
and then head out and we're thinking of doing a hop on hop off bus yeah, and then exploring Miami. On a so full day tomorrow. Let's explore it. So yeah, this is our first official day in Miami because last night we got you quite late. Um, so now we're going to go on a hop on, hop off yep. bus, which cost about, what, 40 odd dollars? Uh, 45 dollars each. 45 dollars each. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Bye. Before heading to the big bus tours pickup point, we needed a fuel up on some caffeine. We got some coffee. After finishing our coffee, we headed over to the bus pickup point. Big bus tours offer a one day pass which enables you to hop on and hop off any of their buses. This is an ideal way to explore Miami. After taking in some of the sights and sounds of this incredible city, we soon found ourselves at the Windward Walls Art District. We had intended to get off at Windward Walls, however, Gavin missed the stop. No, I was busy taking photos. But I was videoing, so you should have been paying attention. To be fair, they didn't announce the stop. Having missed our stop, we decided to visit the Bayside Marketplace for the time being. Hi everyone, so um, we just got off our hop on hop off bus <laughs> and um, we missed our stop to the Windward, Windward because yeah we just missed it. So now we're going to go Bayside shopping, um, but we will go back there so yeah. Yeah, for now we're just going to check this place out. The Bayside Marketplace can be found in downtown Miami on the banks of Biscayne Bay. Here you'll find a wide range of stores, shops, bars and restaurants, as well as a beautiful marina. In the distance, you can also see cruise ships, which is very exciting if you're about to go on one. With the weather being so warm, we decided to get some drinks. Luke opted for a rum runner cocktail. I decided to go for a Corona. The rum runner was so nice, I decided to get another one. By this time, Gavin wanted one too. Right, now, now try... Rum. It's not that bad, it's like really sweet, Ooh. but it's nice though, isn't it? I, I, found it quite, I found the rum quite easy to drink. Hi everyone, so we've just had a few drinks in the Bayside yep. like food bit. We had uh, some run runners which were really good, beautiful. Uh, now we're going to get an Uber to go back to the Windward, the Windward Street Art Gallery. So we're going to head back there now. So okay. see you in a bit. As we were trying to cram in as much as we could today, we decided it'd be quicker to get an Uber back to Windward Walls. Finally, we had made it back to Windward Walls. So we actually got to uh, Windward, and now we're going to go and explore all this incredible art. Just look at that. There's like loads of it. There's some more over there, and there's some more over here. There's some more over there. There's like loads. So we're just going to check this all out now. So. Yay. 
Since Windward Wall started, it has seen over 50 artists, representing 16 countries, cover over 80,000 square feet of walled area in various forms of art. We're sure you'll agree, the artwork here looks absolutely fantastic. After a short while at Windward, we caught the hop on hop off bus again as I wanted to visit Little Havana. The ride through Miami was fantastic, we really loved seeing all the sights, there really was so much to see. Unlike our previous bus, this one had a live tour guide given commentary, he was really knowledgeable and had a really good sense of humour. Having passed through the financial district and smelling the money, as our guide said, we found ourselves heading out towards Little Havana. The guide recommended we try some smoking mojitos. Who are we to argue? Did someone say drink? So we've just come to Little, little Havana. Havana. Yeah, on a little trip. Ta -da. Just got off the bus and now we're going to go and get another yeah, drink. <laughs> As you can see, the mojitos looked amazing, and they tasted it too. So we've just had a little mojito in Little mojito. Havana, mojito. and now we're going for a little walk, and we're hoping to go to Miami Beach then in a bit, so see you then. See you then. We just got a snack from like a bakery and they were speaking Spanish. No idea. <laughs> we didn't understand the way they said but we've got these things. I think mine's like cheese and ham. What have you got? Chicken. It's really good. Chicken and what? Chicken. Oh, just chicken. But they're nice so we're going to eat these now. We're going to wait for the hop on hop off bus and we can go back to Miami Beach. So. Once again, we hopped on the hop on hop off bus. I think it's safe to say we got our money's worth. Swap from one hop or hop off bus to another one, which is now like right at the front, and then we get to go back to Miami Beach. So, so we're not going to wait for a hop on hop off bus. We're going to go and uh, get an Uber back to Miami Beach because it's a bit quicker. Otherwise, we have to wait another 15 minutes. So we're just going to head up to the um, pickup point now and get our Uber. As I said earlier on, we were trying to cram in as much as we could today. So rather than waiting for the bus to take us back, we decided to get an Uber again. Passing all of the cruise ships made us really excited as we will be getting on Seaside tomorrow. We had an Uber from the Bayside shopping mall to our hotel. It was loads quicker. It was just loads quicker and cheap as well. So we did that. And now we're going to go down to Miami Beach and check that out. We'd finally made it to Miami Beach. Even though it was overcast and very windy, it was still warm. We've reached the beach! Visiting this tourist hotspot, we just had to take some selfies, as you do. Ah! 
Seeing cruise ships leaving in the distance, we decided to make our way over to South Point Pier to see if we could see other ships leaving up close. just walked along the beach and um, a bit of Miami itself and now we've come out to the pier and um, we've seen two cruise ships go out already yep. and we, I don't know if any more is coming, I can't see any behind us but we're just going to walk out to the pier anyway and the water looks amazing even though it's like really cloudy and stuff it looks, probably can't hear us that windy is but it looks really really blue and like it's really light compared to our back home so we love it so we're just going to walk out onto the pier now Luckily, we timed it just right. By the time we got out onto the pier, we caught Explorer of the Seas leaving. Hi guys. Hi. So we've just been to South Point Pier. Yeah, we watched Explorer of the Seas leave. Um, and now we're going to head back to the hotel. And get ready for tonight, because we're going to go out and yeah, yeah. do some more exploring. And See you later. On the way back to the hotel, we found a bar called The Scapegoat, so we decided to call in for a quick drink. So we just had a few drinks at The uh, Scapegoat. Um, now we're going to go back to the hotel room and shower and change and whatever, ready for tonight. We're going to head out and we're going to go to the food market. So we've just had a quick shower and change and now we're going to head out, we've got a happy hour at the hotel and then we're going to go to, we're thinking of going to the time, time out, out market. market. Yeah, so we're just going to head out now and enjoy the night. Yeah, have a good one. After having a few drinks at the hotel, we got an Uber to the time out food market, Miami. Having read that you could get alligator here, we were eager to try some. That's what holidays are all about, try new experiences. So we've come to Tower Market and now we're going to try some alligator. Are you going to try some alligator, Gab? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to try some alligator. So. So we just had our alligator bites and they were really, really nice. What do you think? Yeah, they were good. I enjoyed them. Really different and nice. So now we're going to go and try some more American cuisine. And we're going to go for some corn dogs. Corn dogs. Being our first time in the US, we'd never tried a corn dog. Having heard so much about them through films and TV, Luke was determined to try one. And so the hunt began. After a very brief search, the smells of a nearby burger bar proved too tempting, so we gave in. So we couldn't find any corn dogs, um, so we decided to have some burger and chips instead, didn't we? But they yeah, were pretty, a really, really hot chilli dog. They were me. really hot, but they were really nice, so we've enjoyed that. Afterwards, we had a little stroll around Miami before calling it a night. We hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please give it a like and remember to subscribe to our channel so you can stay up to date with our latest videos. Thanks for watching! watching.